if we go on the Databricks page, we can learn that they are now data intelligence platform company. And this is new. They were a Lakehouse company. There was a Lakehouse all over the place. So what this data intelligence platform means and how it looks like in practice, that's something what I'm going to show you today. And to be frank, for me, the direction in which all of that is going, it's completely shocking what I'm going to show you. Before we will jump on it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel because this really helps me to produce more materials. So let's go very quickly through how all of that started. So we have a data warehouse since a while, which are great for the reporting, but are not, they are not great for the big data, neither for the machine learning capabilities. So companies ended up for many years having both, which was really a pain. And this is where Databricks came and offered a data lake of all Lakehouse platform. It was 2017 or 15. I don't really remember, but basically promise was following. We will provide you the way to process all your big data in affordable way. You will be able to do your machine learning algorithm on our platform. And on the top of that, we have a set of the tools like the Unity catalog, which provides you the data governance and lineage, which will allow you to build a first class reporting solution based on our platform. And it was great. It was really great. Well, but, but we are all living now in the post GPT era where most of the companies started to invest in AI and Databricks did it as well. They already were very close to the AI, but they just went farther by purchasing the company called Mosaic ML or whatever you read it, which was like the some competition to open AI for 1.3 billion US dollars. And that's how the data intelligence platform has been born. So what Databricks is saying is that with the Databricks AI, you will be able to accomplish in your Lakehouse platform more and you are required to have lower level of skills. If we log into the Databricks, we still see this familiar look where on the left we have a main menu with the workflows, the Unity catalog, work, uh, SQL warehouse and some other things. But now wherever we go, we will start getting some sort of the AI support. And here I'm going to the Unity catalog, which I have turned on for this workspace. And what I want to do is I want to upload some data from my computer to the Databricks and see what Databricks will do with it. I have two tables prepared, two files prepared. So I will just create a table and I have it over here. I have two files, one with some information about some homes. Let's upload that. And the data has been uploaded. But what is the game changer? Look on that. AI suggested comment. Databricks is suggesting me the description of the table. This home's table contains data or various properties, including blah, 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 blah. It's not me reading this down. It was Databricks AI. So I can accept it. I can edit it. But this is really a game changer in terms of the data governance, data management. Show me in which company you have a people who want to spend the time describing the tables, what it means. Let's see something else. I can also generate a description for columns. So it's not only for the whole table, but for columns. And this is how it looks. It's, it's great. I mean, yes, please, I want to accept it. This, this is fantastic. This is addressing so big and real problem in the companies of the data governance and, governance and data management. So look on that. Now I have uploaded some data and the data is already described so the data analysts can pick it up. They know what it means. It, it's, a, it's a huge step forward. Let me add another table, another file. So again, create table. And the second file is with the De Niro movies. Uh, I don't know why that's the file I found. Anyway, the process is exactly the same, create table. The story is, uh, the story is exactly the same. Databricks has proposed the description of the table. I will not even read it. It's probably better than I would write it by myself. And I can request to suggest the description of the columns. Well, by myself, I would write nothing. That's the thing. And here I have a really reasonable description already prepared and that's the amazing step forward and that's just the example now let me show you something really cool and a bit scary i will go to the sql editor on the left and here i have my databricks assistant it's hidden over here the idea is that instead of using sql i should be able to ask databricks assistant for some insights in the data and it should be able to provide it to me or sql query to find it so let me ask about the data we have uploaded a second ago, a second ago, find homes. 
comes with four bedrooms enter and that's the sql query which is offering for me which uh, i don't know looks reasonable here i have the option to copy that straight away to the sql editor and now i can run and hit and run the query uh, and that's the result it's, it's, it looks amazing it, it looks really amazing let's now write some query about the second file we have uploaded about the de niro movie so and i will help him a bit because i know that it can struggle using the Nero table so i will hint him which table to use find average score of the movie enter and and we have another query which i don't know makes sense let's check it out hit run and let's wait a second and that's the average score of the De Niro movies. So, no, it, it's 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 pretty scary. You know, if you were planning to be a data analyst, the person who will know SQL and, and provide the basic reporting, I don't know. I don't know. Let's check out something more difficult. Find all movies above above average score. And let's see what we are going to get right now. And I will go and test it straight away without even reading it. And that's the results. That's the that's that's the the Nero movies with the rating above the average. And that's it. That's how it looks like. And I know that I have chosen a very simple example, and in many other examples it will not work. But you know what? It reminds me of the situation like we had 20 years ago with the electric cars. They were really slow, and the range was very short. Everyone was making fun of it. And nowadays. Electric truck is faster than Porsche and I'm 100% sure that in a couple of years if you are going to use SQL it's going to be your choice because as the alternative you will be fully capable to ask a Databricks AI or other software and it will provide us required data. Anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know if you see that as the opportunity as, as a threat. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and see you soon.